Welcome back to Resonant Rise. Ready to switch ya. Got a bit of a stormy storm going on. In game. I logged in this morning and found this sitting in my craft terminal. I have a feeling I know what we're going to find, but let's go take a look anyway, shall we? Ooh, good. Everybody apparently has got their skin back. I expected to find a bunch of naked cows running around. There are two who are just standing above everybody else. I guess they've risen above the herd. But um bump. Uh, <laughs> I'm an idiot, I know. Welcome back, guys. Uh, the holidays have been a little busy, so things are uh, a little bit chaotic. Uh, haven't had as much time. My uh, my brother and his wife and my little niece uh, were in town. Still are actually, so I haven't really had time to do a whole lot. Uh, rest assured, I'm, I'm going to get things moving again, I promise you, uh, and we'll get back on a more reasonable and regular uh, time frame. Uh, there's, I'm, I've been goofing around a little bit with Ender IO. I've got some, some real plans for the future with that. I'm not going to do anything with it today, though. Uh, that is going to be something we're going to mess with here in the future, but it is. I don't think we're going to get to it today. We might. I don't know. You never know. Uh, anyway, the server's been updated. We're on Resident Rise 2.5.5. What does that mean? Well, that means we added a bunch of new mods. And we cleaned up some stuff with some of the older ones. One of the ones we added, Remote IO. And I'm going to be getting into this because there's some really, really cool stuff with Remote IO. You can do some pretty amazing things using wireless transceivers and uh, sided proxies mostly. Uh, this takes things that uh, normally, for example, like a furnace, you can only feed in from the top uh, if you want things to go into the top. Well, if you... Uh, let's see, is there a simple way I can just show you? Because that actually may be easier. Yeah, let's grab a furnace. And I need a hopper. I don't have any hoppers. Unbelievable. All right, we'll just use iron. Do 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 do. How do I not have any hoppers? Eh, it just doesn't. That doesn't make any sense. It's crazy pants. I'm gonna build us an extra one just in case we need it at some point in the future. All right, off we go. And we need coal. Just just some coal. Whatever. Okay. So, as we all know, you drop a furnace here. Take it. Coal goes in the top. Piece of cake, right? All right. So, if you put hopper here, drop it in. Coal goes in the top. Great. Now, what if you don't have room in the top? What if you don't have the physical space to put the hopper up here for whatever reason? Well, if you put the hopper down over here, it does nothing for you. you drop coal in it. It just sits there, right? It does nothing. With Ender IO. Let me see if I can make one of these things real quick. I don't even know what they take. I haven't... Uh, why would you do that? I haven't even gotten into this yet. I forgot. When we update, it gets rid of all the config settings. It's pain keister. All right. It needs a pearl, a hopper, a side awareness upgrade, and a fluid upgrade. And you get four of these guys. Whew. Well, you know what? Heck. We can do that. We can, we can make this up real quick. I really didn't want to get into it, but uh, we're going to do it anyway. We're going we're gonna to do this anyway. Sweet. All right, blank upgrades. There we go. Off you go. All right. So we need a fluid upgrade. Is that what we needed? We needed a fluid upgrade? Yeah, we need a fluid and a side awareness. Blank and an item. Gah. Gah. Build one of these guys. I'm out of chess, which is fine. We're, we're doing this slowly but surely. All right, so let's build side awareness upgrade. Great. And then let's build the fluid upgrade, which is this and this, and I need two buckets. And of course, I don't have two buckets. Because why would I have buckets, right? One, two. I have more buckets than I know what to do with, is what, I, is what the issue is. Uh, da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Okay, fluid upgrade, great. Off you go. Now, let's build some of these guys, because I really do want to show this to you. Uh, let's go Wait, what am I missing? Oh, I'm missing the danged hopper. Curse you. Let's make up a slew of chests. We always seem to run in, run out of the darn things anyway. Uh. <laughs> I 
I swear, you know, some days are just easier than others. Okay, there we go. The whole point is to show you guys the gosh darn thing. Okay, so these sighted proxies, the way they work, if I understand it correctly, is you basically dump it in like this. And I'm going to need a wrench, aren't I? I'm going to need a, I'm going to need a this guy, which is easy enough to do. Let me, uh, let me do, 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 IO linker, do, do, do. Oh, my last two pieces. Okay, what you do is you take, um, I'm trying to remember how to do this. Okay, so you take the, what is it? It's, it's shift. Hmm. I thought it was the IO linker. It may not be. Wireless transceiver, maybe? Oy! Because I know there's a way to do it. Okay, so shift and no, that's not it. Oh well, we'll come back to it. This is something that we are definitely going to get into. I swear, I swear I'm doing it right. Let me check that real quick because I wrote it down earlier because I played around uh, a little bit with this. Um, give me one sec. Hey guys, we're back. I can't get it working. Uh... <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, to be perfectly honest with you. I just kind of put it together. I've been I'm just sort of studying the stuff. We'll see if we can get it working uh, for a later point in time. Basically, what it's supposed to do is give you the ability to insert items uh, from alternate directions so you don't have to build hoppers on top. You can build hoppers off to the sides, things along those lines. Well, we'll get to it uh, once I've had a chance to play around with a little bit more. So that's coming up. Anyway, no, I wanted to clean up just a few little things, show you some of the stuff that's been done here. By the way, ours just got a, another big update. Um, so we're basically starting over from scratch when it comes to Ars Magica. If you come over here, and I know I kind of just got us delayed, but that's okay. All right, where'd my book go? There's my book. If you open the book, uh, that, that's not what we had before. We had a list of everything. Now I've got uh, very, very little to go on. So I basically am starting over from scratch. Uh, crafting altar, inscription table, oculus. I can't click on any of these things anymore. Uh, it's, it's, it's all kind of gone. So I think I actually am going to need to rebuild all of this stuff in order for it to unlock with the book. That's what I'm understanding the situation to be. So is what it is. Uh, we will get to that at a later time. I'm not, I'm not messing with that right now. That's a fair amount of effort. Uh, I went ahead and rebuilt my smeltery. Uh, it's now able to handle 70 odd blocks worth of stuff, and I've kind of modernized it. I realize it's a smeltery. I modernized it a little bit. Uh, we added a whole bunch of liquid ducks in, and they can do a variety of different things. I love this. Boop, pump it in, pump it out, tank's full. Um, I've included a couple of uh, basically storage tanks here, giant open block tanks on the side of the wall, and you can pump to each of these guys using these levers here on the side. Uh, there's nothing in there right now, so I can't really show you. Uh, but both of those will pump to here in case you realize, you know, you've pumped in, you know, 100 ingots worth of steel and you don't want to lose it and you got to smelt something up real quick. You can pff, dump it all in there. Or, for example, if I, because I, I let everybody else use the smeltery too, if I've got a big old project and I log off and I'm letting it melt down, you know, because I don't want to sit there and wait for five minutes for 100 and something different blocks to go if somebody else shows up and i'm not doing anything with it but there's lava or whatever you know steel or or tartarite or whatever floating around in there they can pump that stuff using these guys into the tanks do whatever smelting they need to do then hit this lever and it'll pump it all right back into here again basically it's a way to do multiple jobs all at the same time which i think is pretty slick uh i got uh my liquid ducks over here uh, I made a whole bunch of Tico glass because Tico glass is like unicorn sacks. I want as much of it as I can possibly get my hands on. So I got a couple of basins over here, levers, ducks, the whole routine. Now, that being said, torches don't really, torches are boring. So I was thinking about different ways to light this place up because it needs, I mean, it's got a little bit of light coming in from the outside here. It's got a little bit of light from our lava here, but back of that room is awfully boring. It's awfully, awfully not lit. So I started playing around with this stuff again. You remember this? Energized glowstone buckets. Put it down here. 
glowstone rises. Well, look at that. Lights up the corner of the room. And it looks pretty slick, doesn't it? I really like it. Uh, you make it by taking glowstone and melting it. Now, here's the important thing. You can't let the source block get away. So you put it down like with a, with a solid block on top of it, at which point it will flow out the sides just like how water flows, except for it flows up. You'll notice, too, if you stand in it, you get a speed boost and a jump boost. And while that doesn't really matter for here, it's given me some ideas or uh, other things that we can do, uh, which we'll get to at a later time. There's no no sense speeding it along now, but I kind of like that. And you see how much it really lights the room up. Really lights the room up. It makes the lava side look dark now in comparison. So um, that's done in the magma crucible. For those of you who didn't know, I'll, I'll show you real quick. I'll just take you back there. Do, 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 do. Basically, what you do is you grab yourself a magma crucible and you start melting glowstone or there's a number of different things you can melt, but you melt it down and it goes into here. And I've got it set to auto-eject into a tank where you just take a bucket and pfft, scoop up, scoop out your bucket worth and off you go. So I made myself a couple of those because I really like that. That's really cool looking. Uh, but I also came up with this. This is destabilized redstone. Now, if you put redstone... Ooh, it's being goofy. <laughs> it doesn't like that. Okay, no problem. Uh, I did this earlier, and you see how it's all spiky now? It's it's actually, I may keep that using, ooh, that's kind of cool looking. I don't know, we'll see. That's, hmm. uh, to recover and make this stop doing it, all you do, even though it doesn't look like there's a solid source block there, there's a solid source block there. So you take it all and then watch it, up it goes. Okay, here's what I was here's what I was thinking of doing. You take the glowstone, you put it there, neat. Take the redstone and put it there. Huh? What do you think? One going up, one going down. If it doesn't lag me all to heck, I think that's what I want to do with it because I think that just looks the up and down thing. I, I really like that. I really do. I don't know why, but I really do. So I think I'm going to do that on this side, too. I've got the outside being red. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so we take this back. It's so cool. Okay, so the outside's the red side. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so you go there. And you go there. And then I get out of the way so that I don't get myself blinded by reds. Oh! Something happened. It didn't go right. What happened? Must have put it in the wrong darn spot. Okay, so that goes away now. Now, where's that redstone at? There it is. Sort of. What are you doing? Did I put you in the wrong spot? I must have put it in the wrong spot. Alright, so here's what we'll do. We'll, we'll start with the redstone there. Then we'll put our glowstone there. Whoop! Oh man, did I get it out in time? I did, I got it. Whew! Whew. Stuff moves fast. There. What do you guys think of that? I kind of like it. It's kind of a cool little just... I don't know. It just looks different. I think I'm going to keep it. Again, unless it lags my base out or lags everybody else out. I'll have the admin come by and do a, do a tick per second check on it. Make sure it's not uh, blowing up the server or anything else along those lines. I really do kind of like it though. It lights the room up, gives a little, gives a touch of extra class to an otherwise classy gentleman such as myself. <laughs> if you believe that one, I got more to share. Uh, anyway, let's go. Uh, there was a, a few other little things I wanted to kind of cover. I realize this is going to be kind of a short episode today. I did want to show you guys the the glowstone and stuff because I really do like it. I I really do. I think that's really a slick setup. Um, there's a couple other things I wanted to show you that we've uh, we've incorporated into our setup here um we uh eesh, i'm getting low on stuff okay um uh, i went ahead and picked up some of these jabba better barrels uh these better barrels are really really pretty nice stuff sorry about that guys i accidentally hit the button did not mean to do that anyway we're back uh Goofball. What I was showing you was uh, the job of better barrels. Here's here are the better barrels in a variety of different states of upgradedness. Okay, it starts out with your better barrel, standard old barrel, 
four, uh, what is it? That's 4,096. So 64 stacks. And then you can upgrade it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, blah, 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 all the way up. And it exponentially just basically keeps doubling. So, like, this one is a, I think, a second tier. Um, I'm going to turn off chat real quick because who knows what they're talking about about pork chops. I stay away from those crazy kids. Uh, anyway. Uh, so I think this one's, yeah, this one's been upgraded uh, to the second level. So instead of 4,096, it went to 8,000. Now it's at 16. This one's up at 65, which is two levels past that. And this one's up at 131. It's uh, it's pretty, these barrels are pretty nice. And then I've got them hooked into the ME network through the ME storage bus. It's fairly straightforward stuff. It's just regular old, you know, I've got it set to where it just sits there and pulls everything out. Pretty much straightforward stuff. It, uh, everything makes perfect sense with it, and we just rock and roll. I'll show you how to I'll show you how to put these guys together because they're it, it's actually fairly intuitive. So like let's say we're gonna because I'm gonna need one of these anyway. I've got one for cobble, limestone, and dirt, but I know we're gonna need one. I'll probably put coal in one of these uh, here momentarily, or maybe the wool or something else. But let's go ahead and do it. Why not? Because uh, I've got you here together. It's fairly straightforward. It's just wood. Uh, slab on top and then a chest in the middle instead of being blank like it was for factorization barrels it's fine that's it gives us our barrel so all right uh actually you're gonna need that back red there you go because you don't actually need the barrel to upgrade okay so now we got our barrel let's go ahead and take a look at these wood it's a lot of pistons wood chest straight really i'm out of wood uh I'm not out of wood. Really? Stop that. What was I missing? I'm out of pistons. Ah, fiddly ducks. And it doesn't want to put pistons up there. Oh, I swear. The problems that I live with, kids. First world. First world. Let's, uh, we'll slap ourselves some pistons here. Just real quick. Bear with me. Dot com. Uh, let's make 64 of them, say. Okay, get back there now. Now, as I was as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by a lack of materials. Okay, so we've got upgrade one. Great. We actually want to make two of these for every barrel that we're going to make. Because what you'll see, so now we've got upgrade one. We're going to keep one, put one back into inventory. Because upgrade two takes upgrade one. And you have to have the barrel upgraded in order to upgrade. I'll show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and put this together. One. I forgot I'm going to need multiples and multiples, but that's okay. We'll just go, we'll show you the, the principle like this because it kind of it kind of shows you what we're talking about. All right, so let's. Uh, I'm not even going to have. I'm not even going to bother hooking it completely up yet or any of the rest of that stuff. We're just going to make some room for it. Okay, using my traditional brick punching technique. So you see, you look at it. 64 stacks max. No problem. We were going to put, and of course I didn't bring any with me, because why would I have been that smart, right? Seems like that's something I should do. We were going to take, because we've got cobblestone, limestone, and dirt down in there. Uh, let's do, let's do coal. At some point we'll deal with the rest of that, because I have a feeling that's probably the next thing that's going to gum up all my stuff, because I'm not really using it. So we take our piece of coal, and we... Simply, just like anything else, boop, put it right in there. Now, if you shift and click it, you'll see you can lock it, meaning that it'll always be coal. It'll, it's coal, whether it's empty or not empty, it's coal. See, I can take it out, and it doesn't, it doesn't go away. And by taking it out, of course, my backpack ate it. <laughs> I love these backpacks, except when I hate these backpacks, uh, because they really will drive you crazy from time to time. Okay, so now that we got that in there, we'll hop up here and try not to overshoot it. Now... If I've got my one and my two, if I try just to do the two, it won't let me put it on there. You see? Nothing. Nothing. Put the, the capacity mark one wood. Boop, changes the look. And if you read the tooltip at the top, we went from one of 4096 to one of 8192. Now we take our capacity number two. Boop, now we're up to 16K. It's just that simple. Now, and if I break these, I will show you what happens. You break it. You get your upgrades back, you get your materials back, you get your barrel back. You get everything back. I will warn you, don't try and break a 
full barrel or you will destroy the server uh, if you're playing on a server because yeah you don't want to you don't want to do that now you have to you have to relock it and do all the all the rest of the stuff but it's see it's set back up again so I can just put my my barrel mark one in there it's just shift right click boop boop done now I just got to get myself a storage bus hook it to the top of it uh, and then there we go so basically these guys are just sitting here they uh, it's, it's they've got a slightly higher priority uh, they've got a priority of one, whereas the rest of my network is zero. The higher priority means it's more likely to go there than other places. So I've set it up to where cobble, dirt, uh, limestone, and now coal have a higher priority. Uh, well, coal will as soon as... Okay, let me, let me off. Thank you. Strange. Uh, so that will all have a higher priority. So it will be dumped into here before it's dumped into the storage disks upstairs. And again, this is the this is the Ender chest where everything kind of cycles into. I've actually been putting a bunch of Ender chests around the area because, well, frankly, it seems like the most intelligent way to do it. Rather than running cables all over, uh, I went ahead and did exactly that. I really do like that. I think that's so cool. Uh, down here as well. Uh, this is. Oh, oh, dear Jeebus. Stop that. Stop. Stop. Oh, I've, I've done it now. Ah. Uh, rawr. Well, that's why you don't do what I just did. I wonder if I can make that stop by doing that. Okay, good. Everything's all taken care of. Well, that was a bit of an adventure, wasn't it? Anyway, you can see there are under, ender chests under here. There, It's the same standard uh, duct into the casting basin, hopper underneath, and it pulls into the ender chest, which dumps into the ender chest. All of my ender chests are kind of going in the same location, uh, and it kind of gets all pumped right in here into the main storage network. So there's a uh, we're we've been doing a few things with it. Uh, that's that's really what I've been what I've been messing with here. Again, I haven't had a whole bunch of time. I really do want to get into this Ender IO stuff because Ender IO's got some really interesting things that you can do with it. Uh, it's uh, it's IO. There we go. I knew there was something else. Oh, for example, it's got the it's got a whole bunch of stuff that's really cool. It's got capacitor banks, which in and of themselves don't seem that interesting. It's just a way to store energy. The difference is is that these guys they stack. So if you've got one of them, you can contain 5,000. If you've got two of them sitting side by side, they fuse into a multi-block structure. And it'll let you hold a million. And then after that, it becomes 1.5 and 2 and 2.5. You can hold, you can basically make the biggest battery you want, just depending on how big you want to make your capacitor bank. It's a block of redstone, it's tin, and it's these double layer capacitors, which are coal dust, electrical steel and basic capacitors basic capacitors are fairly straightforward it's copper redstone blah 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 uh, electrical steel has to be done in this alloy smelter silicon coal and iron fairly straightforward silicon is made in their sag mill uh, by smoking sand into into silicon or blocks of redstone will do it too um, no i didn't know you could do it with clay i'm not going to use it for clay though uh, so i got to build a sag mill and we got to do that as well uh, but this alloy smelter, I built one of these already because I was I was making this stuff, uh, this energetic alloy. Energetic alloy is redstone, gold, and glowstone. And the reason for that is because you need the energetic plus pearls in order to make the vibrant alloys. Why do we care about vibrant alloys? Because vibrant alloys, diamonds, and the eye of ender gives you an ender face. We'll get into that. That's a whole different episode. But I did want to show you just briefly this because it's pretty interesting stuff. And then we'll probably have to cut our episode short. This furnace mode, you put three things in and it smelts it. Pretty nifty. Now the cool thing is, you could do three of the same and, felt and smelt at a reasonable speed. Or you can make alloys out of it like you would for the energetic alloys or for the vibrant alloys so on and so forth you got to put all this stuff together now the furnace mode will let you do furnace only anything or alloy only just by the click of the button which is really handy that is a really handy little addition and i've just got it set to always active uh it pulls mj but it'll run on rf because i'm running it on rf right now you can see we got our our standard hardened energy conduit down there um 
I mean, I run everything off of RF, and I'm not using IC2 anymore, and staying the heck away from Buildcraft because ugh, that gets that gets old real fast. So anyway, we've got our we've got kind of our standard little setup here. We've got our alloy smelter, and I'm going to start doing some. I'm gonna start doing some fun stuff with it. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build an Ender face, and we'll kind of get into that next time as to what Ender Ender stuff does. Uh, so we're gonna play with this. I'm gonna get the remote I/O stuff working. There's a couple of other new mods that got added. Truss, um, T R U S S, which I will show you guys here just briefly. I have done virtually nothing with any of the with any of the stuff that was just added. These were these were from uh, Mod Jam Three, I think. Uh, so we got Truss, which is the, a moving strip block, a motor block, a frame item, and I don't know. Oh, and that's clearly not anything important. So frame item, motor block, and moving strip block. Basically what this does, it's kind of like Kalkovecchia's uh, MFF, MFFS uh, movement stuff. I think it was Kalkovecchia. I think that was the pack that it was in. But uh, basically what it does is it allows you to build moving platforms that have machinery and everything else on it, and they work while moving. Pretty slick stuff. Uh, let's see what else. There was a sink was another mod that was added. Shell constructor, shell storage, treadmill, and sink core. What these guys do, I'm not really sure. I, I, I know that just from reading the blurb about them, you can make clones of yourself. And I think you can position your clone, like leave your clones kind of all around the world, and then if you die, one of your clones comes to life, and you play as your clone. I think it's very strange, and I may just make a bank of clones, because why not? <laughs> I know. Ah, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm nuts. I'm really nuts. Okay, so Steve's factory... Fa Steve's factory I think it's Steve's factory manager yes there we go a machine inventory manager and inventory cable this is another one of the new mods that got added in and basically what this is the long and short of it is this is a guy that if you build it will tell you and allow you to as long as machines are hooked up and again, I, I haven't played with this. I need to I need to play with it so just so I don't you know sound quite so stupid. The inventory cable is simple. The, the inventory manager is basically a machine that where you hook it up, and as long as it's hooked up to the machines that it's near. Basically, so if I took it and I made that machine and plopped it right smack dab in the middle here and ran cord between whoa and ran cord to all these machines, it acts as a control point. And I can tell it, can we just make this so I can kind of show you guys what it looks like? Let's try that real quick. I, this is starting to kind of, oop, any eye doesn't like it. Okay, so it's iron surrounded by a block of redstone piston and stone probably. Okay, so redstone, I know I had blocks. I got way too much of this junk. Uh, okay, so that's redstone. I need iron. Iron goes up top. We need piston. See, these pistons get used by. Ha <laughs> ha. Every oh, it was just one, wasn't it? Uh, and then we needed stone. I wonder if it'll let me use cobble or not. It will not. Okay, so we'll kick that back. Hello. Hello. Uh. Whoa. <laughs> uh. That. That was a bit of a hiccup. Okay, uh, machine inventory manager. Let's get this out here and get it set up just just to see what it looks like. All right, let's just let's just put it down. Oh heck, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to leave it in these places. Okay, so you click onto. It. Wow. Whoa. Look at this. Look at all this cool stuff. Oh, you can set up an entire assembly line. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, wow, so you basically can make flow charts of this stuff. So now it's got, okay, so 
I mean, the names are all goofy, but that's fine. So because of where it's set up, it can it can interact with my thermal expansion machine, my chest, or my ME drive, because that's what it's touching. And the target has to be up, down, north, south. Wow. This is powerful. It's got a whitelist and a blacklist. Connections are standard. Jeez. Output. It's got the same inventory list as everything else. Wow. This is uh, this is really slick. Now I need to find out how to... Ah! There we go. So you can just grab it here by the top corner and make things go away. Look at this. Man, this is a really, really slick, slick little mod. Huh. We're going to do some serious, uh, serious play with that because if... I'll bet you anything. I mean... I'm not a huge fan of computer craft because I don't know uh, programming pff, at all. Uh, nothing. No clue. So it was sitting right here, and so it was able to interact with the pulverizer chess machine. I'm thinking I may try and rig this to where... Hmm. I've got some ideas. I think I may run, like, inventory cable down through the center, put, put the, uh, the manager basically on top here. I wonder how it'll interact with AE though. Hmm. Interesting. I am going to experiment with that a little bit. We've got a lot on our plates here now. Because that, if that works as well as it kind of looks like it's going to, man, that's, that's really good for automating production. We'll have to play with that. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for sticking around. Uh, Happy New Year's to everyone. It is the second today, for those of you who are watching this at a later date. So holidays have kind of slowed down. Uh, we'll be back on with more of our goodies this weekend. Uh, for now, take care. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the likes. Appreciate the subscriptions. See you on Saturday.